Saucon Valley enjoyed the home field advantage Monday for its PIAA game with Esperanza Charter. The Panthers opened the first with three straight walks. Jake Albert then followed with a bases loaded single to drive in two runs to ignite the uprising. Then it was freshman Cole Hubert with a bases loaded double bringing home three more runs. Just like that, it was five to nothing Saucon Valley. Hubert scored two runs, had two hits, and drove in four runs all told. Cody Swinney then with another RBI single as the Panthers racked up a nine to nothing lead and batted around without an out. The frame included eight walks and four hits. Saucon sent 14 batters to the plate. Things settled down in the next two innings. Panthers needing six runs to end it in the fourth. Joe DeRusso, Liam Buck, and Albert added RBI singles before Hubert clinches the mercy roll win with an RBI single down the left field line. Saucon Valley wins 15 to nothing. Rocco Vecito finishes with a one hitter. The Panthers survived a wild and crazy district tournament last week, winning all three games in comeback fashion. Monday opening the PIAA tournament, it was a completely different story. You know, it feels pretty good. Um, we usually come back when we're down, but we got out early today. Took advantage of uh, the pitching, and you know the bat. The bats were just going really well today, so it helps us out a lot. It helps our pitchers out too. I think it was a confidence builder going into the rest of the state tournament, and I think we needed this game after the three games in districts being come from behind wins. It was a big relief to kind of not have to worry about the pressure towards the end of the game for once. Uh, jumping out to a big lead like that, like the kids were patient. Uh, we had opportunities to hit the ball. We scored some runs. We, we fell asleep there for about two innings, and then, they, and then we, got, we had a little talk in between innings, and then they, they got kind of back to work. So it was good. On the scene, it's Saucon Valley High School. Tom Mike Krantz for the SE Network.